Hi, welcome to Road by Culture. I'm your host, Kevin Isley. Today we're gonna to talk about wearing sunglasses. What are appropriate sunglasses for riding your bike? And what are the appropriate sunglasses for hanging out in a cafe? Let's talk about this right now. There are basically two reasons to wear sunglasses. The number one reason is eye protection. The number two reason is cool factor. Let's just face it, sunglasses are cool. When we're talking about protection of the eye, the number one thing we're talking about is a projectile hitting your eye. Whether it's the sand from a windy day, something coming up from the road and hitting you in your eye, or a bug flying into your eye. This has happened and it hurts. The second thing we're worried about with eye protection is cataracts. I know that sounds like a weird thing. Grandma got cataracts. Right? Cataracts are when the lens inside of your eye starts to cloud over and thicken. This is caused by the natural aging process of the eye, but it is sped up through long exposures to sunlight. UV radiation is increased 15% for every 3,000 feet above sea level you are. So if you're doing a big climbing ride and you're hitting 9,000 feet up in Lake Tahoe, that's 45% more UV radiation coming into your eye and you need to protect them. So now you know you need to buy sunglasses. What kind of sunglasses do you buy? What kind of a lens do you buy? Do you spend the extra dollars and get the polarized lenses? Do you just get UV protected lenses? What do you really wanna get here? So polarized lenses are really good for skiers and for boaters. What polarized lenses do is they block light from the horizontal meridian and they allow light from the vertical meridian. In other words, they block reflection. You definitely want lenses that are 100% UVA and UVB protection. This comes from most of the major brands. The really good sunglasses out there, they're all gonna be UV protected at 100%. But remember, always buy from a reputable store. To get down to the basics, a sunglass is there to block out 70 to 90% of the visible light. Beyond that 70 to 90% protection, you're now looking for UVA and UVB protection. And then if you wanna go beyond that, you're looking for polarized. The main function of a sunglass for a cyclist is to block out the sunlight, protect us from UV rays, but give us the broadest field of vision possible. For this, you want wraparound sunglasses. These are my sunglasses. I bought these sunglasses this year and they are really great sunglasses. I totally love them. Notice they have a wraparound protection. I can't even see light coming out of here all the way around. This is going to allow the most field of vision while I'm riding my bike, but it's also gonna protect my eyes from light entering laterally. As a cyclist, the other thing you're looking for in sunglasses is that they sit higher on your face across here. That way when you're in your drops and you're looking down with your eyes pointed up, you have an amazing field of vision. The thing I really like about these glasses too is the lenses are photochromic. Photochromic lenses allow the lenses to go lighter when it's darker and then they get darker when it's lighter outside. So as you're going through the forest and bright lights and shade, the lenses are actually adjusting and it gives you the same vision no matter what you're going through. When the bike rides over and I'm getting either burgers and beers with my friends or we're just at a cafe getting coffee but I'm not gonna ride anymore, these are the glasses I like. These are stylish cafe glasses that are definitely in fashion now. If you wear these glasses while riding your bike, you are not gonna get the same field of vision that you did with the wraparound glasses. From here on, light will come in, it's hard to see laterally, and that can be dangerous while riding your bike in a group or in traffic. It's harder to see the car or the person right here. The other problem with these glasses is they don't sit high enough on my face. So when I'm in my drops, I got sun coming right through here and that is not good for bike riding. Again, it obstructs your field of vision. But if you don't buy photochromic lenses, then what you wanna get are sunglasses that have interchangeable lenses. These are my old Oakleys and these were really great sunglasses. Good ventilation coming in from the sides, good lateral protection for full spectrum visibility, and they sit high on my face. Because interchangeable lenses allow you to change the lens for your road conditions. I kept these glasses because I use a yellow lens for commuting to work. One of the things I liked about the Bolle sunglasses is they are made in Italy. They're designed in France, but they're made in Italy. And I like that better construction and that they're not just something cheap from China. Well, I think that just about covers it. Sunglasses and why you need them. If you like this episode, please subscribe to my channel. 
I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm everywhere. And until the next time, I hope to see you out there on the road.